trying to fit everything in on this video that I can because I don't really want to talk here anymore. I really don't. Well, because last night when I looked at the thing about Facebook and starting Facebook up again and it had all the thing, this is your code to get back in. It's like I tell the truth and you lie and kill over money and you want me to have a code to get in the room to talk with you? Oh, fuck you. Okay, <laughs> Fuck you. All right. So I went to bed last night. Now, I'm uncomfortable physically because I'm being abused. And uh, Suzuki and Jesus, you know, the, the, the messiahs, the messengers of eternal faithful peace, they basically told me, they were like, Earl, book of Revelation is not about them. It's about you. It's about you having faithful communications. You're the 13th, 22nd redeemer. You redeem the teachings of the apostles and the messiah. You make them valid, not fantasy, so people can actually live them. Like, yeah. So it doesn't matter what they think. Because I had these dreams this morning. I was uncomfortable physically, just uncomfortable. And these people praying to God. It's like, you can't pray to God. No. I pray the Lord. But then Jesus always tells me, Earl, you're tag, you're it. You're cool, Jesus. Thank you. And so, the, you know, there's stem cell research and therapies. You know, all the messiahs that came before me passed away. You know, like it says in the Islamic um, uh, prophecy, you know, 13, 20 second, really, he'll live out his life and die. And one of the cool things I'm really looking forward to seeing and seeing if it's possible for a woman's and family's love to heal a person without using stem cell therapies and research. Um, uh, see, you know, it, it's extreme, stem cell therapy is, is an extreme condition, but I didn't do anything to myself and I was tortured by people, but I'm more curious to see if loving a faithful woman and enjoying my family and a, and a healing planet can heal me better than manipulation research through stem cell. Because I don't think stem cell research, I think once you heal it, if you start fucking shit up again, the person will get sick again. That's just my perception if they're as good of a person as me. That's what I think. I'm serious. I think I think it's like totally fascinating, totally cool to see if a woman's love of a family can heal the Messiah better than science. So there. So I'm going to do it because I am and you're not. So neener, neener, neener. Okay. And all that stuff you guys did to me. Penny for your thoughts. A nickel for a kiss. A dime if you tell me that you love me. I'm, it should be so doggone easy to do. If you love me like I love. A penny for your thoughts. A nickel for a kiss. Well, Ladiki, hey, no ha. So I'm excited to see what happens. And I'm excited to feel my family, you know, hug, recover and heal. Because, you know, I had corporations in my bedroom. I never had private moments. I know uh, Queen of the Damned and Queen of This didn't. No, 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 no. Because women aren't wired that way. And men are. And so people are praying to me to be the Lord to redeem the Gospels. They're not praying to a woman. They're praying to a man. They've been praying to a man for thousands of years, and he's not God. He's the Lord. God is God. There is no God but God. God's not begotten or he's God begotten. God always is, always has been, always will be. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to heal, and we're going to see what perfect prayer can do with technology to make it a better place to live. And I'm not going to depend on any of you famous people. You're crazy. I love you, but you're crazy. And I'm going to depend on me and the Messiahs in my head. Gorgeous. I know it's amazing. I can't wait to see what happens. It's going to be really exciting. They tell me, hey, go for it. What do you got to lose? Absolutely uh, nothing because time is precious and they keep screwing up. Right. So go, Earl. Go do it. You can do it, Earl. Yay. You're cool, Earl. We love you. Yay. Hey, yeah, Earl. Come on, man. You, you cool, dog. Come on, man. Get it done. Hey, yeah, man. What, what are we? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Get it done now. Get, get her done. Got her dead. Okay. So I'm going to go. I'm going to hop sing to it. All right, y'all? That's not racist. Shut the fuck up. Suzuki slap you in the face. Uh, his sin said, fuck you. If you think he's racist, go drown yourself in the toilet and ask yourself if you're still breathing. <laughs> you guys are right. Peace out, man.